Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is CoinX and in today's video, I will quickly just show to you guys something good I saw in FL Studio. Actually, I discovered this thing a couple of months ago, but today I just felt like to share this with you guys. And uh, what I'm uh, about to share with you guys is just our uh, Invocal Writing plugin inside FL Studio on the patcher and this video basically i'm making it for those that are not uh, capable financially fit to avail themselves with plugin vocal rider so this today is an alternative and believe you me it's worked amazingly well so without wasting much of our time today let's dive right into it i want to give this quick uh little advice you know when it comes to controlling of your vocals it's i don't know many people might argue this but this is my own personal opinion it is always advisable to control your vocals first what i mean by controlling it is like having all the peaks under control so that you don't encounter excessive uh peaks here and there on the vocal that actually affects the performance of the compressor so it is recommended to control those peaks before you apply compressor so that the compressor you are using will not overwork itself and at the same time it will give its maximum uh, performance so that is the reason it is recommended to control your peaks before throwing in any compressor on your vocal is debatable anyway but it has to do with personal choice you know so i've been i've been approaching it that way for a very long time and it's been working for me so i stick to it and uh the reason for this video is actually to enable one speed up your workflow for example a, a producer like me that loves to control the peaks before i apply compressor let's say i booked a section in a professional studio and you know when you have a section in the studio it's what it's your time so think of trying to control those peaks you're actually eating up the time you have to really do the mixing or whatever you paid the session for so uh, that is why i'm trying to give out this quick tutorial about this vocal rider you can achieve the same thing with uh, waves vocal rider which is amazing plugin so and for the sake of those that can afford waves or don't have waves currently uh, maybe probably working on a project and you have FL so this video will really help you to handle that situation with ease so and let's dive right into it now I have this vocal as you can see already for this demonstration it's just me saying a few words about dynamics and all that <laughs> so and uh, this vocal right now is already assigned to mixer channel 10 where i inserted the patcher now our uh, this patcher i'm gonna call up a new instance of patcher for clearer uh, demonstration so when you open up patcher this is exactly what you're gonna see so what you need to do to get the vocal rider is to click on the preset right click on it go on the xu link down on the list you see vocal rider just call it up then this is what you, you you will see at default so there are a few knobs to manipulate we have the range max the range mean the sensitivity the targets and the output now the most important knobs here are the ones i am going to talk more about on how to set it and get that clean even uh, vocal riding on any vocals you have so the first is the sensitivity i take it all the way right all the way to the full you know 100 uh, percent if i may then the in second important knob here is the target which determines i think the vocal the level of the vocal you want to dynamically control the peaks 
I don't really understand how it works, but before this tutorial, I really made experimentations using this to know what each knob, what it does and how I can set it to the right way to achieve that perfect controlled uh, vocal that I want. And uh, also, I created a settings, I've already saved these settings so that you guys can easily download it and also to save your time, you know, but it's fine. You are free to like uh, still make your own research and experiment. It's totally fine with me. But the reason I save this preset to give it out is to save you a whole lot of time, you know, because basically when I was doing the research, it took me a lot of time over 45 to 50 minutes or more, if I'm not mistaken. So back to what I was saying, the target, I usually set it around this region and when i do that how do we know that it's really uh working what i normally do since it doesn't have like a window a display window to show you graphically what is being controlled so what i usually do is i consolidate it and uh, I turned off the master effect so that the master doesn't the any effect on the master doesn't uh, influence the output. So when I render this, now this is consolidated uh, vocal, which is what you're seeing is actually what this vocal rider is doing to the vocal, the recorded vocal. And as you can see, to an extent, it controlled it. But now, I'm not comfortable with this because at the tail side, you can still see this vocal is not really controlled. So that brings us to this. I discovered that this range max enables this plugin to really fully control and even out those peaks. So what I do is I normally bring it down a little bit but it all depends on the material you're working with so i would recommend just manipulate it till you get what you want after you must have set the target the sensitivity and you know just as i have it but don't worry i already have the presets saved you know so and uh i think it's on the desktop i've already placed it on the desktop or maybe later I will save it separately so that you guys can download it so uh, when I now reduce this range max to this level now let's see what happens I will consolidate it again and then you see you see the difference the control is now amazing the control is so good you know that's ending side of the vocal that poked out so much it's no longer like that so that is how i set the vocal rider to achieve that even uh vocal output so i'm gonna i'm gonna save this i will save this Save preset as uh, I will save it on the desktop. I'll call it my name, Coinex. So I will just save it like that on desktop so that you guys can easily download it there is it so you have this in the description if you want it you know i will just attach it there for free download so that when you're working all you need to do is just to drag it and drop it or store it inside uh the a particular put, uh, folder inside your system so that it's gonna be easy for you to like uh use you know so let me quickly show you how you can save this. For example, I have this folder here. I can just call it a 
I can call it VR, meaning vocal rider. All I need to do is just to put it in this vo uh, folder, then head to FL, go to file settings, go under here, and uh, add this folder. And when I add this folder, all I need to do is to come over here, refresh, and uh, there it is. So all I need to do is just to, let's say uh, I want to use it on channel 2, I just drag it and drop it with my settings, you know, so it's as simple as that. So thank you guys for watching and uh, remember to subscribe if you're new here, but if you're a returning subscriber, thanks and I appreciate your, your you know you being around so that we learn and improve together stay safe stay creative stay blessed and have a nice day bye bye